This ain't easy because we are really low to the ground, like really low to the ground. But this one, Jor, has some really cool early American cuffs. We have the Adams. This was the first pair of Adams I bought and on one side, um, the entire mechanism just fell out. It was just a pile of rust. And this one here actually is much nicer. I dig these. It says, um, patent applied for. So, you know, this was the first ratchet cuffs. So these were the first adjustable ratchet cuffs in America. Pretty awesome. Then we have other ones that are near and dear to my heart because of where they were made. These are the Rankins, made in Philadelphia. I have several different pairs of these. I think because maybe of how close I am to the Philadelphia area maybe has helped out over the years. I love them because they have that, that little hold, that little thumb notch there. This pair, when I got, they were already broken off. Oh well. And the first pair I bought when I moved up here was this Stella Stasius. And they were so cool. I got these at an auction. One bow was bent. One shackle, you can see, is bent there, but no harm, no foul. It still works. And these are ingenious because of the little brass tube that covers the locking bolt, which makes it extra secure. I really, really like that design. I don't know why it didn't stick around longer. But these are the Rankins that have a bit of a plating still. I can't really see if this is... in focus so we'll zoom in later and this pair I got from John and these were in the Lockman auction I lost <laughs> I, did, I got a bid for these actually but then I later on got them and uh, they were also owned by the great Hicko Hi, Mr. Bean. these are really cool Delastasius of course just that's not the original finish but anyway, and then Rankin made the leg irons, which are just bigger versions. These were used in the United States Navy a lot for some reason. And they work the same way. And you can see Rankin, Philadelphia. These are a nice plated set. See that little nub in there? That's, the, that's what catches in the, it's got a ride up over that little ledge and then snap shut, boom, like that. Very cool. And these have different lengths of chain too, I think, yeah. So they did come in different sizes, which is always good to know, and you wonder how many pairs, different sizes there were. Long standing thing, I'm missing one set made by Rankin. And you guys know what that is. I really, 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 really would like a set of Gouteaux. I have a lot of information on him, actually. And now we're going to come to the really cool ERs. I had another pair, which I got to John. These are, you can look up the registry on the handcuff.org. You can look up the registry up there. They, they did an awful lot of great research with serial numbers and numbers known and all that. These I bought in Virginia. Did I? Yeah. And these are my pride. I also have the padlocks, a bunch of ER padlocks here and in other drawers. Just because, just because. But these are the coolest. These are the big honking leg irons that I got up here with a huge center link. Look at those beauties. Oh my goodness. Good stamping on them. Um, the one side, the locking bolt is broken off part way down, but it still works perfectly. They, they open and close excellently. And here's what some of the original ER keys look like. Pretty cool. And this is actually 
a newspaper article about when I bought them because they publish prices realized. Let's see, there was also a uh, uh, two and a half dollar gold piece went for 375 bucks. I'm not bad. What's this here? Where does it say? Oh, leg shackles. There you go. And it lists them. So this is my cool early American drawer part two because, you know, that was early American as well. And I hope you enjoyed drawer 10 and happy new year, everybody. And we'll see you again next year. And please do me a favor. Don't forget to subscribe. Make that your new year's resolution. How's that? Yeah, a subscription to this channel. And uh, I have some cool things planned for the new year, but you'll have to wait and see what they are. We're going to finish up these two units here and then hopefully by then i'll get some new additions to the uh to the collection but you never know so all right guys we'll see you again next time